On a previous video, I reviewed the PVC loom that I had made a few years ago, and I was showing some modifications that I made to the beams. I had to adjust this one, um, so I had to unthread the apron rod off of it, and so I thought I'd do a, a quick video on how I put that together. So you need to measure your Texolve to where it'll reach from this beam almost to the shafts in the back. Um, I was getting low on my Texolf cord, so I cut them a little shorter than I would normally do. On the front beam, you only need to measure out uh, enough to get your um, apron rod to about halfway between the front, the breast beam and the, uh, the shafts. Just enough for you to be comfortable tying on. So it's a personal preference how long you make these. But in the back, if you make them a little bit longer, you get to um, advance your warp a little bit farther and you save a little bit of your warp uh, yarn. I've already got a bunch of these tied onto my uh, dowel here because that's the way I took it off the loom. But when I first started out, I uh, took an eighth inch dowel. It can be wooden. This was what I had on hand. The front one, I believe, is just a little wooden dowel, and it's plenty strong to, um, to tie the heddles or the uh, Texov cord on. And it needs to be cut um, this size between these two um, supports, just enough to reach all of the holes. I drilled seven holes here, but you probably don't need that many. Five would probably be enough. Um, so you take your hook or a hook of some kind, you might have to use um, a fishing line or whatever to get this through there. But you grab a hold to the tech solve and you pull it all the part way through. And then you thread your dowel on there and just pull that down. I'm going to do that one more time. I'm going to go ahead and take this off of this other dowel. Actually, um, when I did this to begin with, I started from the ends, but then the dowel starts rocking around in there, so whatever way works and then you just thread that into the little holes on the the uh, tech solve and eventually it kind of behaves itself once you have a couple of them on there so you go ahead and thread all of your holes and then on the the other end what you're going to do is fold see if I can get this in the camera you fold your tech saw. This is where you're going to insert this other dowel. I have the camera zoomed in so much it's kind of hard for me to get it all in there. You just fold it and then you poke it through. Make sure it's a strong hole. If it's too close to the end, sometimes that'll break. So just make sure you have it in a, a hole that's not going to um, break on you. And it's best if all of your uh, tech saw cords are the same amount of holes so that your apron rod ends up in the exact same place. So now that I have a, um, a little loop here, I just slide the dowel on. So all of them will be tied on that way. You, you run your text off through all of these holes into a, a support dowel and then you make loops on the other end and put your apron rod in and um, that's all there is to it.